In this video, we're going to talk about the concept of differentiability, and that just basically deals with whether or not a derivative exists at a certain x value for a certain function. So we know the derivative of f of x at a specific x value of a is the limit as h goes to zero of f of a plus h minus f of a all over h. So whenever you're calculating the derivative at a specific x value, if this limit at that specific x value of a does not exist, then we know that the function is not differentiable at that specific x value. Now there are a couple of cases where a function's derivative does not exist at a certain point, where a function is not differentiable at a certain point. And an obvious case is when it's discontinuous. So if at a specific x value there's a vertical tangent or there's a hole or there is a jump discontinuity, then we know that the function at that x value where that discontinuity occurs is not going to be differentiable. So if a function is discontinuous at a certain x value, it's not differentiable then either. And another case that comes up that's a little less intuitive than the discontinuity case for a function to not be differentiable is the case of a cusp or the case of a corner. So a cusp looking like this or a corner being here, the vertex of an absolute value function. So at this cusp or at this corner, a function is not differentiable. This limit here, this expression is not going to exist at that certain x value. And that's what we're going to focus on this video, dealing with the case of a function not being differentiable at a cusp or a corner. Now it's one thing to know that, how do we prove it? So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to show that the function, the absolute value of x, is not differentiable at an x value of 0. Because at this x value of 0, this function, the absolute value function, is at a corner. And we mentioned here that at a corner, a function is not differentiable, but we are going to prove it here. So to prove that this function is not differentiable at that specific x value 0, we have to find f prime of 0. And that would just equal the limit as h goes to 0 of f of 0 plus h minus f of 0 all over h. Now notice how usually when we've been finding derivatives so far, we've been finding the general derivative, the general derivative function. So we've been plugging in an x value here and then getting a function in terms of x. However, now that we're proving that a function is not differentiable at a specific x value, we now plug in that specific x value into that definition of a derivative limit and then we just solve from there. So then plugging 0 plus h in for the function, we'd have the absolute value of 0 plus h minus f of 0, which is just the absolute value of 0 all over h. So then this here would simplify to the limit as h goes to 0, 0 plus h is just h, so we'd have the absolute value of h all over h, because the absolute value of 0 is just 0. So then because we have this absolute value inside a limit, we know we're going to have to use the one-sided limit strategy. So we have to change that absolute value of h over h into a piecewise function. So this absolute value of h would turn into a negative h when h is less than 0 and a positive h when h is greater than 0. And then these would simplify to negative 1 when h is less than 0 and positive 1 when h is greater than 0. Now, if you don't remember how to do this, I would highly recommend that you go back to the section where we discussed one-sided limits. I have a bunch of examples so you can be comfortable in performing this limit and evaluating this limit because it's a high probability that it will come up on your test when you're showing that a function is not differentiable at a certain x value, especially when you're dealing with an absolute value function. So then when we take this simplified uh, piecewise function and graph it, we'll have a horizontal line at a y value negative one when h is less than zero, so notice how there's a hole at zero, and it will be a horizontal line at a y value of positive 1 when h is greater than 0. So there's a hole there as well. So this function here in the limit, as h goes to 0, this absolute value of h over h looks like this, this graph right here. So we can tell as we approach that h value of 0 from both sides, we are approaching different y values. So we can see that this limit here does not exist. And because the limit does not exist, we know that the function is not differentiable at that x value of 0 here. 
because we proved it. To find the derivative at a specific x value, you have to plug in that x value here into the definition of a derivative, do the limit, but if the limit doesn't exist, that means that the function is not differentiable at that x value and you proved it. So just remember, whenever you're showing that a function is not differentiable at a specific x value, you plug that x value in right away for the derivative definition and then solve the limit from there. Don't find the general derivative function by plugging in x first and then trying to plug in zero. That's not how you prove it. You prove it by plugging in that specific x value in right away and then doing the limit showing it doesn't exist. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.